Hi everyone, welcome to the Public Art Learning Fund webinar. I'm Kim Zito, Program Director for Public Art here at NISA, and I'm so excited to share this new opportunity with you. Whoops, uh, that's me on the left, and on the right is my colleague, Maria Carrington, who unfortunately couldn't join me today. But together, uh, we make up the public art team here at NIFA. Uh, in this webinar, I'll give you a quick overview of NIFA for those of you who are less familiar with us, um, as well as uh, the Public Art Learning Fund will walk through the eligibility criteria and funding priorities for this new program. So the New England Foundation for the Arts is one of our six arts agencies, uh, regional arts agencies across the country. NIFA works in partnership with the National Endowment for the Arts, the New England State Arts Agencies, and private foundations to invest in artists and communities and foster equitable access to the arts through grant making, convenings, and professional development, creative economy research, Creative Ground, which is our online directory of artists, arts organizations, creative businesses, and much more across New England. You'll get to learn a little bit more about uh, Creative Ground in this webinar as it is one of the eligibility requirements um, for applicants to have uh, a profile on Creative Ground. But before we dive into those details, um, we'll start uh, with, with the big picture of what the Public Art Learning Fund is. So the Public Art Learning Fund is NIFA's newest public art grant opportunity. It's for New England artists to strengthen their public art practice through professional development opportunities. It's that simple. <laughs> uh, grants range from $500 to $2,000 to support these professional development opportunities. And by investing in artists to develop the skills, resources, and connections that they need to strengthen their public art practice, NIFA hopes to continue to support the evolving field of public art and foster the continued development of more equitable, inclusive, and vibrant public spaces across New England. We recognize that sometimes we learn best through the process of making art, and sometimes we need a moment to focus our energy on learning without the pressure of producing art that's ready for the public. So the Public Art Learning Fund is taking the latter approach here. Um, and as you probably already know, our application deadline, our very first application deadline for the Public Art Learning Fund is November 12th. And everything that we cover in today's uh, webinar can be found online at www.nefa.org slash public art learning fund. Great, so we'll dive into the eligibility criteria. Who is eligible to apply? Um, first, we, we wanna make sure that all of our applicants are artists who reside full-time and make their artwork here in New England. Um, that's uh, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, and Vermont. We want to support artists in all six states to strengthen the field of public art um, here in New England. Second, uh, applicants must be an artist whose artistic practice engages the public realm or who can demonstrate that they are in the process of expanding their artistic work into the public realm. Whether you're a seasoned artist who has been creating public art for decades or you're exploring the possibility of taking your, your practice out of the studio and into the public, um, for the first time, there's always something new to learn. And third, we want to make sure that all of our applicants have a Creative Ground profile. Um, and that's because we, we really believe that uh, this is a wonderful resource for, um, for, the art, for artists and um, the greater community here in New England. Uh, Creative Ground spotlights cultural nonprofits like libraries and theaters, creative businesses like recording studios uh, and design agencies, and artists of all disciplines um, to promote their work, to share um, what they're doing, to connect with others. Um, Creative Ground is uh, a great resource for um, promoting your work, finding potential collaborators such as um, fellow artists or, or fabricators. Um, 
identifying yourself as a public artist in this region and inviting cross-sector partnerships. Um, and also to get counted as an active participant on your state artists roster and, and in your regional creative economy. So these are just a few examples or a few reasons why Creative Ground um, could be a great resource to you as, as an artist um, here in the region. And we hope that um, as a part of this process, you'll uh, create a Creative Ground profile and uh, uh, use this platform to connect with others and expand your work. So our team at Creative Ground has created a few resources uh, to, to help make um, this tool a little more useful. We've got handouts. Here's one that is specific to public artists. Uh, you can find it on our website, um, on the Creative Ground website, uh, under the Resources tab, or you can follow the link here on this slide. Um, our team has also created an introduction to Creative Ground video. Um, and if you're interested in fast forwarding to the part where they walk you through how to start a profile, you can start watching the video at about 20 minutes in. Um, but I would recommend maybe watching the whole video because uh, there's a lot of uh, useful tidbits in there. Great. Um, so now to get back on track with the eligibility criteria. Just to recap, uh, the first three were to have a Creative Ground profile, um, to be creating your work in the public realm or um, be interested in expanding your work into the public realm and to also be an artist who lives and is creating their work um, here in one of the six New England states. Uh, and in terms of the professional development opportunity that you're thinking about applying for, uh, we want to make sure that it specifically relates to strengthening your, your own public art practice. And we want to also make sure that it's taking place um, during the grant period. Uh, so as I mentioned, our deadline is uh, November 12th, and that's going to be for opportunities that take place from January uh, 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020. Um, we're also going to have another deadline in the spring of 2020. So you'll have another opportunity to apply um, for things that are taking place in the latter half of the year, especially if you know this is the first time uh, you're learning about this opportunity and uh, you want to take some time to think about you know, what is the right opportunity to apply for. Um, and, and maybe it's taking uh, place later in the year or, or um, even maybe beyond uh, 2020. Um, we're hoping to have two deadlines a year, so don't feel like you have to rush for this first deadline. Oh, I should also note that there's no geographic limitations for professional development opportunities um, that you're requesting. You know, you could be applying for to attend a workshop um, that's taking place in another state right here in New England, or maybe you um, you want to attend a conference and visit this organization um, in another part of, part of the country. You, know, you can use these funds um, to really pursue an opportunity that's specific to your um, own practice um, and uh, it doesn't Great. And um, things that, that we are looking to fund through the Public Art Learning Fund are are project specific things. So um, if you're looking for funds to develop or implement a specific public art project, this might not be the right opportunity. Um, and this won't actually apply to anyone applying in November, um, but will apply for future deadlines. Um, current public art grantees aren't allowed to apply um, until they've completed their funded activity and final grantee report. Um, all grantees will be required to submit a final grantee report within 40 days of completing their activity. Um, and that also allows you to be eligible to apply for future opportunities. Great. So now that you're thinking about um, what, what to apply for, um, uh, this is probably a good time to talk about our priorities. So NIFA is committed to investing in artists 
And this opportunity is about investing in your public art practice. Uh, we're asking you as the artist to tell us what you need to develop the skills, resources, and connections that will strengthen, deepen, stretch, and grow your public art practice. Our hope is that by investing in your artistic growth, or in turn investing in the evolving field of public art, um, and fostering the continued development of more equitable, inclusive, and vibrant public spaces across New England. So we're hoping to prioritize um, timely opportunities that are removing barriers to access. Uh, NIFA recognizes that some artists may experience barriers to access to professional development opportunities due to race, gender, disability, sexual orientation, class, age, and geography. Um, we're also valuing uh, geographic diversity within the region and in uh, the opportunities that we're supporting through the Public Art Learning Fund. Uh, we aim to support artists across the region from urban, suburban, and rural communities across all six states in New England. So please help us spread the word. <laughs> help us tell artists um, in your, your corners of the region that this opportunity um, is available. Um, we're also looking to make sure that uh, the opportunities that we're supporting are specifically expanding in artists' public art practice. Um, we want to make sure that you know you're, that these are opportunities that are going to help you grow as an artist. Uh, so we're going to be looking for clarity on, on what you're hoping to learn um, from the opportunity. And since we are talking about public art, and uh, public art engages public spaces, we also want to know how this learning opportunity is going to impact the way uh, you engage the public realm with your artistic practice. So as the Public Art Learning Fund aims to support the evolving fields of public art, we may prioritize opportunities that are both specifically expanding an artist's own artistic practice and strengthens their ability to foster more equitable, inclusive, and vibrant public, public spaces and public life um, in their own communities. So, do you have a professional de development opportunity in mind? Um, what are some areas that you'd like to grow in? Are there particular techniques that you um, have been hoping to learn more about? Uh, do you need to sharpen your knowledge around budgeting and insurance um, and, and the business side of being an artist so that it, it isn't taking up so much of your creative time? Are you looking to learn more about developing a socially engaged practice? Um, this might be the right opportunity for you. So we hope that you'll uh, check out our website and um, take a look at our application. And, and consider applying. If you have any questions, uh, you can always email publicart at nefa.org. And um, just a reminder, the first deadline is coming up on November 12th. Great. Thanks so much for joining us.